I guess I should take this off, right? I'm telling on myself. When y'all see me with this mask on, it means I've been outside. But I don't have I don't have casing, and I needed to do some stuff. Like I had to take some stuff back to um, UPS to ship back to Amazon. But look. I'm gonna get down with the um what is it called thumbnail one day. I'm gonna get down with it. So um, mm. it's delicious, y'all. Say it with me. Delish. I had a whole Paragraph written out, right? Um, because one of my sisters told me that they feel as though I shouldn't talk about exes, and like some exes, you you guys will pretty much be able to figure out who it is. Because when I talk about my ex wife, I say my ex wife. When I say my son father, basically my son father is like one of my ex boyfriends. So those two, you know. My sister be like, just don't say your ex-wife. Because some of the stories that I, in which I would share about, not say her. I mean, it's dealing with her. But it's my side. Because there's two sides. And especially when you have a life that you was planning with somebody. Y'all got years together. Like, my ex and I was together. My wife and I. Was together for nine years, ten. Let me see. Got count the count in my head. We was together for five. No, I think we were together for six years. We met September the eighteenth, two thousand and nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, that's when we got married. 14, 15, when we split up. So that's six years. So like, it's a lot of my life in which, you know, she was a part of. So I can't share my life story and then not, you know, put the stories um events that happened between us inside of it, you know. So I was just like, you know, I use, I use YouTube as an out, just, you know, where I can freely talk without nobody actually replying, but listening to me, you know, I can get what I want out and then people can comment. Let me tell you all my story. And then you, you lie. So, that being said, I'm going to read what I, what I wrote another time because I can't actually read and eat at the same time because I got to hold the book up. And I, yeah, I'm going to stumble on my words. So, yeah. Just know, you know, this YouTube channel is for me. I get to share myself. I get to share Kaysen. I get to share our time together. But then I eat a lot and I talk a lot. But you don't like it? Not like it. Whatever. But anyway. What do we do? Did you miss me? I need to give me an intro, y'all. I need like an intro of me. Be like, this is Cinder. We. No. That's too close to Miss Peach. Who like, This is. I love her, her greeting. Like, it's so simple, yet so funny. Like, I, I love her intro. So, another thing, y'all, that I haven't really shared with you guys. I am actually in the 
market for another car. Yeah, long story about the car. It I um I drove it with left. The car that I had the car that I had. And basically like the car went up on me. Then I'm looking like right now I don't have a car, so I'm Ubering, I'm Ubering, Ubering and lifting it everywhere. Unless I'm driving somebody else's car. In which that sometimes is a problem. So I'm looking like I want my own car. But then I'm looking like if I get a car right now, I'm gonna spend be spending a whole bunch of money. Because I'm gonna be going going places. Heck, that's why I've been home so damn gone much. So that's why I didn't really mind or don't really mind I'm not going to work. Because one, I keep Casey safe. What did I say? Say it again. I keep Casey safe. What did I say again? I keep Casey safe by staying home and not being around a whole bunch of people. And healthcare workers, yeah, they like at the top of the chain of getting sick. And I don't want to get sick. Like, I don't. But anyway, I am in the market for, I want me a minivan. I know it's only me and Kaysen, but a minivan, like, I told y'all, like, I, li I live small. I had a junior apartment. You're like, saying you never told us that. Um, yeah, um, I used to, when me and my wife was together, we was buying a house. So because we was buying a house and the house went into foreclosure, never told y'all that, but my credit is messed up. So I had to get what I had, what I could get. You feel me? I got approved for a two bedroom apartment. And then it was like, oh no, you can't get a two bedroom apartment. You gotta go down to a junior. And I'm like, what? But it was time for me to move. And I was just like, you know what? It is what it is. So, yeah. I live in Virginia. Casey sleeps with me. He had a crib, but he never... He had a crib that was turned into a um, toddler bed, but he never slept in the toddler bed. Like, he would sleep, sleep, like, for naps in his toddler bed, but he wouldn't sleep the whole night in the toddler bed. So, I was like, well, let me... Take the toddler bed down and get the extra room so I can put other stuff in here. So, yeah. But. You know, with life, you live and you learn. I mean, most definitely for anybody who else is in a relationship where you love that person, but you ain't really sure about that person. Yeah, don't buy no house with them. My ex-wife, um, I'm going to do a video about my ex-wife, a whole video. And if I get in my emotions, I don't want y'all to be like, oh my God, she still love her. No, I don't still love her. I still have love for her, but like, if I would, if she was, to, if we was to be in the same presence and something was to happen to her, I would act like I didn't even know her. Just because. So that's the ice. Um, what else I want to talk about? Um, <laughs> my dream apartment. What is your dream? Not a dream apartment. My dream house. I want like a three bedroom house. Me and Kason. And I want Kason to be able to have like. A playroom where he can get stuff messy up and mess messed up and just have all his toys in the same area. And I had to put I'm not saying not had to put his toys away, but not have to pretty put it in a hiding spot, you know, to keep from the house looking cluttered cluttered. But that's why I want me a minivan too, because I want to start walking, and I would love to walk around Montebello. 
if I walk around Montebello, I will put Kingston in his wagon or I will put the wagon in the car and put toys in the wagon so Kingston can play while I walk. Mm. Yeah. You know, I, I want y'all to get to know me a little bit. I want to tell y'all this hair is itching me like crazy. I don't like it at all. Somebody once asked me, like, what plastic surgery would you get? And unlike other people, I really don't want no plastic surgery. If I can, if I come into money, win a lottery, and win a good lump sum or whatever, I would most definitely get me a perfect smile. Perfect smile. This is like one of the only visible, visible um signs from my accident that you can see um but i'd rather have a tooth there than no tooth there you feel me that's what i love for sure um what else somebody asked me that i want more kids i would love to have more kids i would mm. y'all not see how beautiful my son is like, y'all don't really get to see the full effect of Kaysen. But I would love to have a couple of them running around. I would. Like, that was one of my greatest. Kaysen is one of my greatest accomplishments. Even though sometimes she can be bad as heck. You know what I mean? I'm so grateful for her. Um, things about me that people don't know. You know, I told y'all I have a house. I'm going to show y'all a video of, like, the house. It was, um, a five-bedroom house. And in my head, you know, I, when we got married, when my, me and my ex got married, um, she wanted to buy the house. I was like, why the house got me so big? Like, why can't we just run a house? But... I allowed her to talk me into buying this damn house. The house was beautiful. The house was beautiful. But as soon as we got in there, she wanted to be changing stuff. Like, if the house was already beautiful, why change it? Like, the house had red, red like, red floors. As soon as we moved in there, what she wanted to do, get the red floors taken up. I don't know. I don't understand. Case will eat all these sausages because I don't like them. I got a knife. Where is it? Where is the knife? Where is the knife? <sighs> the cornstarch, yo. I I want to tell y'all how much I miss cornstarch today. I watched a couple of videos and I was like, mm. then I seen some chunks. I'm like, Lord Jesus. But I didn't attempt to go to the store. All right. I want. Hmm. I did think about the sensation in which when I eat cornstarch I get, especially when you swallow it, but, mm. I will not, I'm going to do it from the bottom, get any cornstarch until maybe next week or the week after that, and then I'll do some cornstarch videos. But I'm trying to lose some of this baby weight. I was walking and I'm like, I still look pregnant. My stomach is nice and round. You know what I mean? I mean, like, nice and round. 
if I didn't know about them, I would say I was pregnant. But I already know I ain't pregnant. Unless the Lord upstairs did it. I want to try another eating video other than seafood. But I can't do the hot stuff. Like when I tell y'all I can't. Yeah. I'll be here like, oh my God. My mouth is on fire. We don't need no water. Let that go burn. Burn. Hopefully, y'all old enough to know what that song is. So I got sausages in here, but I'm not going to eat them. Mm -mm. No. They nasty. Did y'all hear the news about Nisi Nash? My girl divorced her husband and married a female, a dom at that. Like, Nisi! And then I heard the girl who she married was a singer at the wedding. Her and her husband wedding. That a shame. <laughs> I had a girl from my wedding once me and my wife um split up off of the nurse from me. Mm hmm Oh, that crazy. And the girl was at my wedding. And the girl was my ex-wife friend, not my friend. Let's call her Kelly. I don't even know her name. Mm. We didn't do it, though. <clears throat> Cause things kept coming up. Then like she was like, cause let me, cause I can do you in a car. You can what? I also want to try. Uh, um, I look. I just looked up. That's why I'm saying it. A paint night. You see this one? I want to do that one. Because just eating and eating cornstarch is boring. And then I was walking and I was like, how am I going to do a workout video when my damn legs hurt? Another thing about me that y'all won't wouldn't know. I'm a preacher's granddaughter. My father's father was a pe a preacher. He had his own church on Baker and Fulton Avenue. It used to be a white church. That he had. It burned down a couple of years ago. Damn. I used to go to church on Sundays or Saturdays. My grandmother was a Seventh Day Avengers evangelist, so she went to church on Saturdays. My grandfather went to church on Sundays. Yo. Yo, I love seafood. Mm. 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 Make your head all go. Woo! Sorry, let me stop playing. Go ahead. 
Then, how is everybody dealing with the loss of Chadwick? It's sad. He was doing so much positive things in his life. While he was battling stage three or stage four, colon cancer. Mm. I say he is most definitely a king. This one, I think this one, this death hit us hard because he was so young and so very talented. I'm looking like I'm about to get me a Disney Plus membership or plan account, whatever you want to call it. Just so I can watch Black Panther. I want to see, was it 24? Baby Ruth, I'm a story. I also want to see, no, not Baby Ruth. It was Jackie Robinson. <laughs> Baby Ruth, really, Cinder? I want to see that Jackie Robinson story that he played, Jackie Robinson. I want to also see, what is it? Something five. Oh um, no! After a while, I just be like, Ugh, too much evil. This is gonna be a three day seafood thing. Mm. Did I tell y'all this? The only food I had so far today? I had a smoothie. And the smoothie had, like, I don't even remember everything that was in it. What did it have in it? It had grapes. It had spinach. Lots of spinach. It had greens. It had mm, blueberries, raspberries, um, pineapple. Apple juice, and I know I'm missing something. <laughs> I already know I'm missing something, but it was good. I think I might, I don't know, either eat a salad or drink another smoothie. I think I might do the smoothie, All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. To fill me up. I can drink like three smoothies. Because I might get hungry tonight. It's about look at him. It's about eight something. Y'all gonna look at me. Y'all gonna see my 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 video and be like that girl really lost some weight. Hmm. Then, sure, you're not going to be calling me up. You'll be like, Fat B, where the cornstarch really goes at. You're going to be telling me that. <laughs> I still can't get over her. I told my sisters. My sister was like, what you gonna say back to her? I was like, nothing, girl. I just took a strange shot of it, of it and posted it online. <laughs> mm. Yo. Mm. I'm almost finished, but I can tell you I probably won't be able to finish it. My stomach is getting full. Been on house party today. Mm. Woo. Mm. I was my um 
my cousin was fighting, right? And it's a video of it. It's a video of it. And I'm like, God, damn. When I tell you they was going at it, I was like, I'm too old for that type of stuff. I'm the boring cousin. I sit home and I chillax. Like right now, I got my ex-boyfriend who want me to chill with him, right? Again, if you guys got to this got this far in this video, thank you guys for watching. Um, most definitely comment below your favorite number. So my ex-boyfriend want me to hang with him. And I was like, man, I'm bored. I'm ready to get a call. Da, 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 da. He like, that's why you should come hang out or come chill. He said, come chill. So I was like, I'm not really sure what coming to chill with you consists of, right? I said, because when I hear come chill, that means sex to me or threesome. He like, I see where you hear that. No. Tell me what, why you want me to come chill with you. Because one, I don't smoke. Two, I barely drink. Right? He was like, all right, never mind. Want to make up things that he's trying to have sex? Like, you got a whole girlfriend. Why you want me? Why? No, no. I guess I never really had a... Friendship, friendship with any any guy other than my son Paul. And which it wasn't sexual all the time. Me and my son went me and my son Paul went years without having sex until I um, until I made the decision that I wanted to case him. And then we ended up carrying the boots again. Had casing, then I was like, mm. not had casing, but created casing. And then, which I created casing, I was like, mm, okay, I'm like, if I, if I ain't pregnant, I ain't never doing this again. Ended up pregnant, the whole nine months, we ain't do nothing. Then he was trying to pressure me into having sex with him, and I'm like, yo, so that was okay. I'm like, yo, I'm my like, dude. <laughs> I mean, we did do a little something, something. But he came back one day and wanted to do it the second day. I'm like, no! And guess what? We haven't talked for real, for real. Since <laughs> I said, I sent him a little text message after you know it happened. Okay, guys, I'm done. This is all I didn't eat. So let me see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine strips. Oh, ten. Eleven strips. Yeah. I put it in it. I mean, oh, this stuff is on my head. <laughs> like, shit, call it in. Anywho, thank you guys for watching my video. I appreciate you guys. If you want me to ask answer any question right comment below i am going to be free maybe for a week until my sister bring casing back he's still not here so if you guys want some crazy videos nothing crazy but if you want a long video i think you guys should ask for those now